All right, welcome Ricer Miata viewers. Today, Rudnick is at the Big E with his family, but we have a lot of prep work to do. As you can see, Matt has the TI, and he's trying to get this ready for the Clean Culture event. Here's the flyer. Show up, we're gonna bring merch, we're gonna be hanging out all day. Matt's gonna be driving the TI. I'm gonna be driving the Jenny, so we gotta fish that out of there, and Ruddy is gonna be driving the Z. So we got a lot of work to do today, yeah. just me and Matt for now. I yep. don't know if Ruddy's gonna be here today or not. No, but... Rudnick's at the Big E with Coop, because he doesn't see him often, so they're having a good brother day. But we've been still with some tasks before we jump in on this. We gotta get the merch going, we gotta get tires loaded, wheels loaded, all into the truck and then into the wedge for that big clean culture event you guys should come out. Uh, and I just edited the 420 cast that from last night was fire. I love the topics you guys oh, went over. Man. I had a discussion with Rudnick myself afterward. I have a bet that we got to cash in when we're 80. Jesus, what's yeah. the bet? Is it well, talkable? Can uh, we talk about what it is or no? Yeah, like I'm, I'm saying there's going to be like space travel eventually is going to be like air travel. It's going to become so mundane and then some garbage is going to cause a act of explosion oh geez yeah, sabotage yeah. yeah there's gonna be some sabotage well check out the patreon look at the vert dude hell yeah clean dude little m52 rig yeah. too is it 28 not bad not bad so check out the patreon drop a sub over there i think like the medium package or one of the cheaper ones the gets you yeah, yeah package. gets you the uh 420 casts i had a good time filming it with chris definitely check it out but yeah now time to get get to work all right boys you know me i usually love plugging the merch plugging my website personally but my boy sam it he has a deal for you. He's giving away turbos, wastegates, and blow off valves for this month only. It's called the month of Garrett. Right now, right here, we have a G25 turbo right here. I absolutely love the Garrett turbos. They spool good, they're the best in the business, and Sam is actually giving either a turbo, a wastegate, and a blow off valve every single day. If you order on samit.net the month of September, you're automatically entered for your chance to get one of those three products and Sam is actually the first dude to be actually collaborating with HKS they got these nice HKS jackets they got some really sweet merch and if you guys want to support one of my buddies you guys know me and Sam go way back the dude lived with me in Florida for like a year he's always helping me when I'm out in Japan as well so if you guys want to cop anything from samit.net you can enter for your chance to win a Garrett turbo a Garrett blow-off valve or a Garrett wastegate honestly it's a no-brainer go buy a sticker or something you know go buy anything you get entered to win buy a sticker a day honestly and you get entered to win or you could just ball out get the HKS jacket because I think they're limited and I don't think he's ever gonna sell them again so with that being said check it out and let's get on with the video <laughs> you like that do <laughs> so the first order of business is complete we're trying to figure out what wheels and tires we have and we're just trying to lay everything out see what we got I think we need to mount two tires maybe more yeah we have a couple left that ha are a uh, good wheel bald tire and we have new tires that we're gonna have to deal with but I guess we're going to Devon's we're going to the wedge to go see what's in the wedge and how many wheels are there yeah if there is any and then we're gonna go grab some parts to try and fix the LCAs on my angle kit just trying to keep move forward while I'm yeah. waiting for Rudnick's text yeah and it's a beautiful day, looking good, everything's good, so it should be awesome. Well, Matt wanted to be posted up, dude. We got the Saab wagons out here. I don't know if this is sick or AIDS. I honestly couldn't tell you. I know some of y'all are agreeing with that, right? Wink, wink, hint, hint. Yeah, but we're here at Lowe's because I have a dilemma. So I have this FAPO angle kit for the E36. And yeah, I know. Rudnick, uh, I don't remember if you guys watched on Drift Week, but Rudnick needed a Heim joint for his SLR kit. So our friend Walzer, which traded me the E36 for the 46, let him borrow one of these. And kind of Rudnick Classic Faction, he lost it. So I'm kind of fucked on that. But I ordered Condor mounts, the offset bushings. The issue we're having is this is severely loose. And the company that makes this angle kit will not sell me a replacement part for that Heim joint. I've contacted them directly, I've been speaking with them for weeks, and they just tell me to buy a fucking kit every time, and I'm not buying the $700 eBay kit when I have it. So we're gonna go into Lowe's with the arm. 
I'm gonna try and find a tube that fits over this and into this nicely, and then we're gonna weld it on and make it bigger. Oh, dude, this guy is this guy is on your team. Yes, anybody with a Saab wagon is on my team. It's clean, at least I think. Nah, I, it's not clean. It's I guess on, I don't know what clean actually is field. nowadays. I think it's winterized. There you go. Clearly, kind of fucked. Might not drive. You are doubting. You are hey, doubting. Look, I'm I'm here with you, man. I'm gonna buy this. Test it first. Yeah, well, I know, but. Okay, it's... yeah, no. Too big. Yeah, but can't we hog this out slightly to this drill bit size? Yeah, see, that's all that has to happen. That has to go in there nice and uh, tight, right? Yeah, I just feel like we're gonna get too close to the edge. What about here? Try 5 8 then. Try. Is this 5 8 See if that goes into here. You got to figure out what diameter that is. This is clearly too large. And this is three quarter. This is too large. All right, so as you can see, this operation has begun. Yeah. Matt is attempting to install the eBay ripoff SLR angle kit, oh, which it may lead to more headache than it's worth. Yeah. This could be one of those instances where just buying SLR will solve all your problems. I'm very curious to see how this plays out. Because now we gotta press out bushings and shit and fight with garbage and it's not gonna be fun. Let's take the ander here. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm hoping that fucking just... You are absolutely gonna need an alignment. Do you, do you, do you have sway bars? No, I don't, I don't have a sway bar. What's this nut right there? That's for a sway bar link, but if you come here, there's no fucking sway bar in this car. Oh, sick. Yeah, you, yeah. Fucking easy peasy, dude. All right. We got one LCA out. Lollipop bushings aren't in great condition. That's going to be fun to take off. But that's one LCA out. I'm going to go grab the new ones. See if the, uh, the Orion method works. Oh. We haven't showed them the Orion method, but... Hey. We'll see. We didn't get that collar. We didn't get that space. Oh boy. Way to throw me under the bus for this one. Nah, it's not your fault. I think it's a good idea. I just wish it would last forever. Hey, I wish you just bought SLR. Well, before Matt shows you the Orion method, uh, I want to just start by saying... Is a bad method? Just buy the real kit. Buy the real kit. I don't think this is a bad method. I don't think it's going to last more than fucking one drift event. No, it'll be fine. But fun. we couldn't find a tube or a pipe or anything and I can't go get something custom machined or I don't know how to weld so I'm not going to go weld this and machine it down to be a perfect circle. So we decide on fucking Gorilla Tape. Luckily this fat one is the perfect size as you could see. I made a fire cut. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. And Test the fit, Matt. Let's see it. Is it wiggling? Oh. Damn. So that method is sick. Yeah, as long as this doesn't wear down. You were never going to find a piece of metal no, that never. would be as thin as a piece of tape. That's too good. That is too good. Beautiful. Props. Yeah. Props. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. All right, no now problem. I gotta press these fuckers in yep. and press these fuckers out. Once again, I would highly recommend skip the eBay and Amazon shit. Yeah. SLR, pay full price, one and done. Good customer service. Fantastic customer yeah, service. Yeah, don't buy this Fapo, bullshit. Don't buy Fapo. Fapo sucks. They have zero customer service. No. They tell you to go buy a whole kit yep. just to get one little part. Terrible customer service. Maybe that'll change. Fapo, change. Or just uh, cut your knuckles and extend your LCAs. Yeah, or run which E46 is arms or not something. Not even. Trevor I'm, has an E46 and he bought 36 arms, cut them, welded them. Yeah. And cut his knuckles well, for free. These came with the car. I would like to get these to work. They look good enough. You know, they look okay quality. Yeah. Better than just cutting and welding, but we'll see. We'll see on the drift event tomorrow. Is that coming out or is that socket squeezing in? I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I don't really want to stand over here, though. Yeah, I don't like this That's at all. so I'm gonna, sketch. I'm going to cut these. That's so fucking sketch. Did it do anything at all? I think so. So we got one out. Now we're going to put this in. Make sure you do it the right way. Yeah. Like, which way does this lip is supposed to face, you know? Probably towards the, the front so that it doesn't fall out the back. Yeah. That makes... So how do you know which way is the front? Because this is angled. 
Okay. Car like this. Ah, okay. So you know what you're doing. Yeah. So that looks good to you, uh, dude. I don't know. I buy SLR shit, and they don't have these. <laughs> Richie with Rich. Nah, dude. It's not even that Richie much more. McRich. It's literally like maybe what a couple Parking hundred more dollars. Bank account shaming me, dude. Not even, dude. On the bright side, that's looking nice. So oh yeah. Smooth. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh wow, look at that. Not even all the way pressed in, Matt. Come on. That's pressed in. What is this big gap? Well, I'll fucking hammer that down. This is clearly fucking it up. Though. Oh, that's not good. That just fucked it. Thank oh you. my god. What, what is, a disaster, dude. dude. I, press in bullshit is the worst. Make your shit bolt. Put a nut. Put easy access to it. The new LCA. Is going in. Yeah. If I can catch a thread, catch a body. Definitely looks okay. Yeah, no, it works. Here we go. All right. Had to call in some backup. We got Devin out here. Hold on, your wiring harness is out. Two man job in it. So we got one side done. We're gonna show you the difference in the angle. If you wanna, Ryan, if you wanna go stand yep. on that side. Yep. That so is stock side. this is stock side. Damn the camber. Hold on, hold on. Keep them straight. The camber is a huge difference right away. Oh my god. This is all bolted in. Yeah. Jeez. So we're gonna go max right. Max Ready? right. Yep. Okay. Yep. Let's see. This is max right. Well, you'd say like that's like 30 degrees. Something like that. This is like Jesus. 78. Oh my God, dude! Look at this. You could just Work. see into the back. Yeah, dude, it's. That's absolutely crazy. ridiculous. Crazy. Well, um. Then we got max left. The obvious problem I see here is the tires. Yeah, too big. tires way too big. Fuck my fenders as soon as the car sits down. That's good though. Yeah, that rolls fine. Yeah. If you do. It hits the bumper right there. Yep, stuck. Yeah, it's hitting the, the body of the car. Yeah. So we either got to hammer it or run smaller tires. Yeah. And we're going to run smaller tires. It's a good idea. So I don't know if what if I can get tires before. I'll Saturday. scour. While you're doing that side, I'll, I'll look on, on Marketplace. Uh, Marketplace, Amazon Prime, Yeah. all the goodies, tire, tire rack, streets. whatever's got them in stock. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll make something happen. Yeah, but I'm pretty stoked with the fact that the kid is working. I got to go find one nut. And we might have to run a... Carl's true value. What's the nut for? That top one on the subframe mm. mounting for the LCA. But we'll be good. I'm gonna get this side done. In the morning, it's not at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Sounds good. I'll be there at 9. That sounds great. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. Sweet. Problem cool. resolved. Yeah. Tires ordered, dude. That's the problem with having a billing address in a different state. Yeah. My card is still in Florida. When I go <laughs> online and do yeah. online orders, places will not sell to me or be like, you have a discrepancy here. Yeah. I'm just like, dude, I, I don't want to get a new card. I've never been hacked on this card. It's yeah. Good. But well, either way. Everything's good. Tires yeah. ordered. Tomorrow tires morning order, pickup. Pickup. And then we're, I got to get them mounted before Rudnick wakes up. And then... No, because he's got to mount the 57 DRs. Oh, yeah. Bring them to the same guy at the yeah. same time. Yeah, so we'll be good. We just ordered 195. 4017. 4017. I don't think you will have any rubbing issue whatsoever. Yeah, we'll just run these as burners or something. Yeah, save those for the back. Yeah. And we'll just run this set. Well, you have four burners as well in the yeah, back of the truck. I'm not going to burn through all of them. With the FOPO kit, dude, you might. might That's some might. stupid angle, dude. Yeah, this maybe, shit is crazy. Maybe I'll load another, another yeah. set in the truck just in case, but we'll see. It's going to be a fun day at Palmer. It costed me a lot, so it better be fun. This is the craziest setup I've ever seen. This is... The fact that it's not... Coming. There we go. Nice. That was literally five to ten straight minutes of using that sledge. Yeah, that fucking sucked. Just to get this dumb nut off. I don't understand why ball joints are always so stuck. Like the, there's not really any rust on there. They're just pressure seized or whatever, like the cone shape. Yeah. Tapered hole. Now we have the fun part of. Oh my okay, god! That was a bad idea. There was a, shit, there was a lot of unsprung. Yeah, that was ridiculous. I, I barely turned it. There was a lot of unsprung tension there. 
Owner from what? We'll find out in a few miles, I'm sure. All right, so as you can see, it is now nighttime. This side is almost done. Yeah, we got everything. I just gotta tighten it up. We have, the tie rod was a, was a nightmare. Yep, shout out to AJ. He showed yeah. up out of the blue. Didn't Not even me, call man. him. I made a surprise trip to Trevor's as well. Yeah, Borrowed his out, torch. Shout out to Chuck for showing up. He helped a little bit too in his free time. But uh, yeah, big shout out to AJ. Dude, save my ass. I'd be here for another four fucking hours dealing with a seized tie rod. Yeah. If it wasn't for him fucking being the man and telling me to take the inner tie rod out and fucking put it in a vise. But yeah, I'm going to get this bolted up. You're going home, I guess. I am, yes. Yeah, you're doing your kick stream stuff. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Well, I hope you do. Thanks. Alright, <laughs> well, I'm gonna go before this light dies. Bye. Yeah. bye bye. Alright, day two of this operation. Matt has the FAPO kit fully installed. As you can see on the TI here, this thing is looking mean as hell, minus the fact that the tires don't fit. This thing's got some crazy stance, dude. The fitment is insane. Look at this. Fitment is crazy, but as you can see, dude, that gave me a wide body. Dude. Yeah, it's like pulling this out, dude. Like, You're look, like, look at this. It like gave me a clean wide body. Like that would be nice if this wasn't over. Yeah, but you're destroying this. Yeah. Look at this gap here now, and this is all jank, dude. Look yeah, at that I'm gap. Pissed. Yeah. I'm kind of pissed. Well, we're gonna jack it up. I got new tires in the back. Let's take a look at these tires. Let's see how much smaller are they really? Uh, are they like significantly smaller when you just look at it? Here, we'll take them out. We'll compare them. Damn, those yeah. look nice. Yeah, they better be for 200 and fucking something bucks. Well, that's what happens when you need them in a pinch. Yeah, you need them in a pinch. Unfortunately, Tire Streets didn't have this size or I would have gone with them. Yeah. Because I personally love the look of Accelerators. Yeah, they're sick. But, you know. We'll those see. look good, though. Those are nice, small sidewall. Yeah, we'll see. Comparatively, these things are still going to be too big. Nah, put it on the ground. Yeah, but... The, uh, well, let's see. So this is all that's going to stick out. Yeah. So look at the size here. Let me see that. Like, look at how much gap this is right here. Yeah, do your transfer that finger. Oh, yeah. Huge difference. Yeah. Huge difference. So we got to get these front wheels off because we need to bring these wheels, those tires, and then over here for Ruddy's supply, we need to bring these wheels and these tires, as you can see, those rims right there. Smoked tires, we got everything loaded up in the dually last night. These are Matt's burners right here. And then we'll just, you know, divvy these up between the Z and the Jenny. They take the same wheel and tire, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, that's what's up for day two right now. Yeah, we got a little too dark yesterday to continue filming. I did the merch. Uh, we're bringing a lot to the clean culture show so if you haven't been there again flyer right here come on this weekend yep. Palmer, you Mass. Palmer where's all the New Englanders dude show, out. show up yeah where y'all at dude we're gonna be here in New England let's get all these motherfuckers from CT Rhode Island New York Mass Vermont New Hampshire Maine we will be there I'll be at the tent all day obviously minus the moments where I'm on track running laps but come say hi Come get some merch, dude. Should yeah. be fun. Yeah, I'm hoping this is not just making that other side worse. But yeah, take a look. Up. Let's see. No, it's just as fucked. Yeah. It's not any more fucked, at least. That's crazy. Well, anyway, let's get this operation underway here. The release day of the I 16 Pro Max. The titanium. I have the natural titanium. Those are the only two I have. Oh, yeah, I want it. So I pre-ordered the Desert Titanium anyways, but they said call, you guys said call the store today, and if I found the one that I wanted anyways, we can just like cancel it or whatever. So can I just come up and grab that? Did you pre-order with us? Yes. Or did no, in the one in Torrington. 
All right, boys. It's the midnight release. I'm calling it the midnight release. It's definitely release. the midnight it's release. It's the midnight release of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. You know, your boy, the biggest butthurt in the world. Apple user. I had to call immediately Verizon just to see. I already pre-ordered it, but my pre-order was going to be seven days late to the midnight release. And, like, if you're an OG COD player, the midnight release is important. Yeah. You know, that's... It, we're, we're grown up now, so yeah. it's iPhone now for me, you know? The midnight release for Call of Duty, don't really care that much yeah. anymore, you know? I don't even really know when Call of Duty comes out. It's like November yeah, 3rd, I think like it is. That. November 3rd or 5th, actually. Yeah, soon. But, um, yeah, I think we're about to go up there. Um, I don't know what you guys filmed. You guys know I was at the Big E yesterday. I'm kind of upset. I ended up tearing my neck or just spraining my neck. I went to go on some rides at Coop, and I guess I'm too old for the rickety oh, stuff. Oh, no, you should go on Wildcat. At Lake Compounds. Dude. Let's do a Lake Compounds. Oh, shit. Awesome, sweet. I'll be there in like an hour. Oh, there you go. But like, I'm like depressed, dude, because I want to go to the gym. And like, I'm, as there's something wrong with my neck, because this is the third time I've sprained it. Not sprained it. The sprain's the wrong, like, tweaked it in like a year and a half, which yeah. I don't think that's normal. Definitely not. You know, and it's always the same spot. It's always right here. I tried to put some cream on it. I tried to rub it. You guys don't care. Anyways. Oh, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> we filmed everything. Yeah, so Matt, we're going to see how he does at Palmer. I'm actually really excited. If you guys didn't know, we're going to be at Clean Culture tomorrow. Definitely swing by. We're going to be selling merch and everything. We're all going to be drifting. And the Palmer, it's like the the new Lime Rock Butterfly yeah, track. Yeah, I'm excited. I've never been there. Yeah. I've never seen it. I've never driven it. I'm actually really Really excited about and this. I like little go-kart tracks because they're the best for tandem. Oh yeah, you know, like it's not too fast. It's not too like oh you have to make this perfect to be on this guy's door. Yeah. Like you can make a couple mess ups and still make it look good. So with that being said, we're just gonna be doing some drift prep today. Honestly, my car is fucking ready to go. The Jenny's ready to go. We just need to get the trailer. Really, yeah. You don't really. Yeah. I I think I'm gonna take that pan off today because I might as well. Jeez, that's I wanted, risky. Nah, it's not risky. I wanted to do an oil change, but it doesn't make sense to do an oil change yeah, without you, gonna, you drain it, that. take the pan off, do yeah, all that. Yeah, I mean, it's only 3,800 volts. Yeah, but no. I actually, I dug through the comments on that video and everyone is saying to replace the pan. It's like a wear item. Look this oh, up. Oh, like replace the actual, like the yes, bottom pan. Yes. I'll look into that. I'll see how much it is. Um, cause that would make sense cause I was going to take it off, just like try to find like a level surface and just hammer it down, yeah, yeah, you know, which not to do it's that. not the best way to do yeah. it, but I, that's the way I was gonna, but maybe we won't do it today. Maybe we'll just buy it and then see when that comes in. Let's see how much it is. Hey Trevor, I don't know if you're watching this, but he just did the slip and slide on my seat. Did he? I missed yeah, it. Yeah, he did the nice slip and slide one day. It's gonna, gonna be fucking, torn. It's gonna be fucking torn. And we're gonna be like, why the fuck is a passenger side torn? You know? It's fucking slip and slide mad, dude. <laughs> what is going on here, dude? It looks like a very reliable man. Yeah, it's a fucking cheap. Yeah, but is it. Dude, is he pouring gas in it from no. a water bottle? No! Oh my god, this is uh, only in no. Torrington. That's not even a moped, dude. That's not a legal bike. No, that's like a frame that you like cobbled together with random shit. Jeez, dude, this is rough. Gas in there. This is rough. Dude, what's happening? This is crazy. And then the Can middle you not open it? I'm so confused on what's going on here. Well, it probably sealed because. Oh, there he goes, dude. He's pouring the gas in. Jeez. Probably like your fuel cell, where it like. He probably just doesn't have a gas gauge. He's now yeah, he's gonna no. go right to the gas station. That's that's his gas gauge right that, there. Yeah, that's that his emergency gauge. gas gauge. It's his reserve tank. Hey, this is moving right here. Nice bike. Thanks, man. What is going on over here? Oh my here, god, you know? dude. Yeah, what, Torrington is in shambles. Find a body in the park? What? Well, we're supposed to be doing the T Town Co Park walk for the iPhone 15, uh, 16 fucking difference. Yeah. Alright, guys, we got Justin here. Yeah, as you guys just saw, what happened back there? Did you run out of gas? Um, I'm not exactly sure, but the compression's super low on it. Okay. I got almost full throttle to keep it going. Did you build this thing yourself? Uh, most of it, the engine I sent out. Yeah. It's a built to car 212. It's uh, pushing like 14.74 on the dyno. Oh, you dynoed it and everything. What's the top speed on this bad girl? A few put in a uh, smaller sprocket yeah. versus the 60 and switch it to a 52. Yeah. 
probably get like 62 to 70. Really? Right now I'm getting about 49 and it's super torquey. How does that feel on the all-terrain tires though? Um, Not great. It's good, <laughs> but it's dodgy taking turns. Okay. You gotta take yeah. turns slow. Do you feel like you're a preschooler? But yeah. it's better than hitting the ground. Oh, for sure, definitely. But Have you dumped it yet? No. That's good, that's good. No, not not yet, thankfully. Is she the daily? Uh, no, just this is something I do. Yeah, just a fun thing. I actually thing. got a turbocharged Outback getting the TPS sensor. Oh, really nice sick. So, yeah. Well, it's cool, dude. Thanks for uh, checking out, but this is the uh, MB200 platform. This was a Hurricane 200X, and I put completely different front forks, front suspension, rear suspension, exhaust. Everything's basically redone but the frame. Yeah, no, Real I mean, motorcycle tank. Definitely has some good character to it, for sure. Yeah. I do like it. Yeah, we just saw you over there. We are like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> we saw you like pouring the drink. We are like, is that gas? No, we are like, no, what's happening? That's a Swedish gas can. Oh, was yeah, it? I found these online. It looked and they like it's something perfect. you drink out they of. It fit perfect, and it's it's like a legit way to keep uh, a liter of fuel. Yeah, so, so my my theory was that you didn't have a gas gauge, so you just let it run out, and then that's your emergency get to the gas station. That's what I thought tank. happened, but I got no compression. Like, this thing's, I'm gassing it, and it's just like... Yeah. It's, it's nothing. Like, yeah. I couldn't get it going, and then I finally pulled it. I'm like, this has no compression. Something's not right. And I let it just die, and I was like, I'm just going to push it. How far do you got to push it? Well, my car's over there, and the owner of the, or I should say the manager of mine, this is a buddy. I think he has a truck, so I could probably slip my $20 bill to get it home. Gotcha. Or I'd be pushing it all the way past Cleveland store off all Gav. So, oh, Jesus. To my house. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you for yeah, showing man. us the bike and stuff. Hope to see you around, man. Just yeah, I love cruising this yeah. thing. Yeah, ride safe. I will. We're doing right, it. Right, moment you of see truth. the smile, dude? Oh, I do. That's a real fucking smile right there. I love getting new phones. Like, I, it's an addiction, dude. I, for, like, I have to have all of the newest technology. It's just a problem that I have. A little I'm, bit of a problem. Like, I'm definitely impulsive. Yeah. Like, there's no getting around. At it. least this one is somewhat business write-offable. Like, you do social media for a living. Like, and the way I look at sense. it is I finance my phones every year. So, it's always $40 a month to get the new phone. Yeah. It's never any more added to my plan. So, I'm constantly paying the same phone bill every single month. But I get the newest technology ever. Yeah. So, you know, some people call me an idiot. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just kidding. All right, good luck in there. Thanks. What are we doing? Uh, let's go mall walk the big lots. Let's see it. The right there, baby. Yeah, let's see it, dude. Look at that, dude. Yeah, the new the button. The camera button, the new button, dude. dude. Absolute butt hurt. I'm that? honestly gassed up just because I'm saving money a month having two phones now. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Let's test the, the 16 in the market 32. Let's just. No, we're just gonna test it on the co-part. Oh, okay. the same gonna, test. Yeah, we're gonna do keep that. It, keep I it might do the, the three dollar chicken like Matt did the other day. Was that good? Yeah, fire. Three dollar, one pound. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, I got those avos, dude. Yeah, you do. I'm gas. You up missed today. yesterday's avo. I know. You're gonna let right. one go bad by the end. Nah, I'll just have two in one day. Fair. All right, what's the move today? Ooh, get this one. It's got a bug on it. And it's like. This is, I like the photogenicness of this. Yeah, it definitely no, looks good. The organization color code is quite nice. Three? Three. Running three, dude. Three today. Dude. Is that what you're getting right now? Yeah, so we just got a pound of chicken. The $3 dinner right yeah, here. Yeah, literally three bucks. For every four ounces, 25 grams of protein. They're four ounces, I mean four divided, or 16 divided by four. That's 100 grams of protein nice. for $3, yeah, dude. Yeah, but what are you doing with these? Oh, I'm just gonna eat those for fun. That's just a oh. fun, that's a fun uh, meal. I love this mixture right here. Boy, what's up with the mixture? I put this piece of ribeye and tingle on this one. Yeah, dude. Uh, Looking it up, I love this. We're it's going good to have the butcher right here. It's good to have the butcher right in front of you. Today. I would honestly recommend one of these two. The arugula is pretty fire. Yeah. Arugula oh. or spinach is decent. Yeah, I'll do the arugula, arugula is the best one though. I'm gonna eat all of this today. Yeah, it's a big container. I hate that it doesn't have the nutrition facts. That's kind of fucked up. Can you sue? No. <laughs> USD 335. Not bad. That's a, it's a hefty piece. This is gonna be filling and it's flavorful. Truck definitely looks good. What a beautiful truck. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, what's this? Bulbo. Is this thing sick? Oh, texting and driving through the parking lot. No big deal. Uh, 60. Uh, Copyright. Uh, uh, uh.
right, boys. Well, we have the iPhone 15 in Orion's left hand and the iPhone 16 in Orion's right hand. Let us know if there's any sort of difference. We already actually did the co-park walk once, but we figured we'd just do a side-by-side. -side. We didn't know that we were actually gonna be able to keep the 15 Pro Max, but now we can. I mean, Orion, does it physically look like there's a difference, honestly? No. No, it no. doesn't. Look to my different. naked eye on the phone screens, no. To be honest, looking at them, I can't tell a difference. Yeah, either. no. <laughs> One just looks a little cleaner due yeah. to the case. Yeah. But another thing that I really want to focus on is directional mic. So we're going to talk right now, and Orion's going to take it. Testing, testing, testing. The big thing about iPhones is the mics are always like weird if someone talks behind them and then if someone talks ahead of them. They have this this weird directional mic. Well, it's it just never uses good. the phone mic, so like obviously it's gonna be better if you talk into it directly. Yeah, what we're gonna do for this, we'll just use the audio from the 16 because we know the 15's ass. But we're gonna do a little bit of B-roll now and we're gonna do some B-roll with the 15 of some water uh, and then the 16, some flowers. Just see some contrast. Hear the noises, enjoy it, smoke some 420, and have fun. Yeah, 420 cast, dude. Join oh, the Patreon. Yeah. One. If you guys haven't seen it, me and Orion just did one. We're talking about doing another one. And um, I think we're getting into some conspiracy theories, which a lot of people seem to like. Matt edited it and um, loved it. I'm bummed, dude, because I wanted to be in on my conversation. Yeah. I thought the topic was super he interesting. He was pissed that it wasn't I was, longer. I was texting you, dude, yeah. like mad. I was like giving you my side of the thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know? So definitely um, check out the Patreon. We're gonna be doing that 420 cast and stuff, but let's get this B-roll. 5X on the iPhone 15. Yeah. yeah. That's the max thing too. Dang, majestic, God bless. I hope everyone's enjoying a nice little smoke break. That looks just as shite. Yeah. Oh no, they dude. Look pretty similar. Did we get God, dude? Yeah, we didn't got get God. God though, because I'm saving money, dude. I guess. You know? Yeah, I think my phone plan got, went no, down. No, you got. We have an inside guy. Yeah. That's not a normal thing. Yeah. That's not a thing. Don't worry about that. But all right, next shot. Throw it down in the comments if you guys saw any difference. If not. That's perfectly okay. I'm just happy to have it. What? Are you hating? Dude, they're really small. Pull dude. up. Pull up next to them. Oh, we're pulling up, dude. I think they look good. Yeah, those are sick, dude. Dude, those came out sick. Yeah, those came out mad nice. As long as the car looks low still, then it, as long as there's no wheel gap, the wheel gap is what kills me. Dude, they actually look hot. I like yeah. to get them for the rear as well. Those are sick, dude. All right, this is the moment of truth. All of Matt's efforts come down to this moment. Will his angle kit clear? It's looking promising. It is. It's looking promising. It's looking hot, dude. Yeah, this is a good size. It's a good size. Here, let's check this front clearance. Looking <laughs> good. If you buy these tires, though, 195.40 R17, apparently they make one tire. Yeah, this one. For Yeah, this tire is the only tire in this size. And the guy at Tire Rack will call you back and tell you it's not load rated. And you have yeah. to tell him it's off-road use only. Yeah, he had to mark on his little fucking sale thing that we trailer the car to yeah. the track. That, like, Otherwise I, they wouldn't sell them to you. Yeah, because uh, they wouldn't honor the warranty, dude. He had to deny my warranty immediately. Oh, for sure. To get well, hey, done. you got them. And yeah. they look good. They, do look they good. definitely be looking crispy. We'll see how it goes. Let me get the other side on. All right. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's yep. see this thing. Here we go. Damn. That's gonna like crazy. Yeah, you're going to have to raise that. Pull the fuck out of that. That's not going to work, but it's fire. At that height, it looks cool, but yeah. it's undrivable. Yeah, it's not going to. You're going to destroy the fender. At least it's not bending the. You can't even yeah. turn that bitch, dude. Damn. You can't even turn that bitch. That's better to tire right Yeah, there. you're gonna have to go up at least it an inch or two. Looks fucking dude, it's it nice. looks so low. It's nice. I love it. Yeah, no, it, it's got good fitment. It's I always mean, the fitment that you can't use always looks the best. Yeah, right? No, you could you could do this on car X. <laughs> yeah. Like you could have that fitment. But, but even I mean, then it still drives like shit. Yeah. Steal your top hats, I'll crank some camber into her. What? I'm always stealing shit from me because I don't get things back. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, let's hit up uh, max speeding rods, dude. Oh, yeah. That's not going to help you tomorrow. Right yeah, now. dude. Okay you for the shipping? We're, we have to load this on the wedge in like an hour, dude. You're going to have to yeah. jack this up. Jack it up and raise it up. Yeah. All right. Well, You're going we'll up at least an man. inch. Figure it out. Don't do that. Dude, it looks so hot. Though. It does. Dude. That I gotta fitment get this tire is size for the rear now, insane. Dude. It makes the wheels look good. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, no, the wheels do look good. I do like it. 
It's gonna have to be raised at least to like an inch and a half. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. At least. This is kind of crazy. You're fucking sitting tough. Don't need that lip no more. That lip would. Oh, be now that you, yeah, Devin took this off yesterday. The it smashed up lip. lip. Yeah, let's try to get this dude, low. Dude, look at the, get look the, at the, the you gotta get this hood sprayed, dude. Yeah. The hood is ruining the car. The hood, the bumper. I feel like once you have everything painted, this car will actually look pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. It, to get this black and shit, that'll look so oh, good. I like the chrome grill. Yeah, I, I think it would look better black, but it's your car. Yeah, I'm keeping the chromies, especially since they haven't fallen out, you know? Yeah, I guess oh. don't take them out if they haven't fallen out yet. Yeah. Start they jacking. will fall out. Yeah, we'll yeah. Uh, start jacking, dude. Let's see it. So uh, I think we still have 60 PSI in the bag. We'll check it when we get Yeah. Back. But like, how does it look even wise? So level. Yeah. If anything, the ass is more raised. That's kind of cool. It's raked, yeah. So with cool. the car loaded on top, yeah. I think we're mint. We actually had to raise the fuck out of the trailer too. Yeah. Because we, we didn't even realize it, but the truck sits a it's lot It's definitely higher. sitting too. I'll tell you higher. what though, to drive this with no trailer, ass. Terrible. Dude. If you, if you try to daily a 350 with bags, dude, you're just a sad. Yeah, it's like 50K it's a, springs, yeah. You know, just it's bouncing. so stiff. Yeah, it's pretty stiff, but you know, fucking. Big rigging. Big rigging, I guess. Looks good, you need to get that wheel. You have a mismatched wheel. Oh. You gotta order. Five, didn't yeah. yeah. Behemoth. Absolute behemoth. Like it literally doesn't fit. The, the camera's maxed out. And the lens can't capture the whole thing. Savagery. Woo! Big rigging, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I'm really excited to see how three cars feels like with the airbags. Cause like it didn't feel bad without them. It felt terrible. It didn't feel like sitting in the back was so terrible. Bro, we made it. We, we did. Made it. I, I got like, a fucking back injury. Like this, yeah, Cali I lean, dude. fucking compressed herniated disc or whatever. The bumps though. It feels good it right now. It kind of feels like it's, a little bit like a Cadillac. It feels like a cloud. All right, this is a big bump. It's nice, dude. Bad. The bags rip. I say we pump these bitches up to 80 when we actually have cars on yeah. it. Yeah. Or maybe we'll see how it sags if yeah. it even does. But I think 80 might be the sweet spot yeah, for the, the bag bags. The bags are nice, bars. dude. It's ain't bad, dude. It's real squishy. The big rigging, dude. Yeah. Way better with the bags than without, for sure. All right. Working on dinner time. Got the chicken going first. I personally do beef, but Ruddy and Matt got chicken today. Yeah, always. So, yep, that's what's going on at this moment. TI, how's the TI? Pretty good. Go check it out. Let's go take a look at the TI. Apparently, we're ready to rock and roll. Me and Chris got the wedge. Are you sure this is going to fit? I don't know. I think it's still going to rub. Like, yeah. It's going to rub less. Yeah, I still got to do the, the fan trout, but I got to edit this video first. Definitely looks good, though. I think it looks good. Yeah. I was a little nervous about the tire setup and being small. It looked way better than the 180 setup. Yeah. I think it's because they you need it different still tires for the meat, rear, though. though. Yeah. I love that, like, the angle kit pushed everything out. Is your steering wheel straight? Yeah. It straight. definitely looks it's good. Not bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. He's like, oh, it's good. It's gonna be. I thought you said you eyeballed. No, it's, that's on, towed dude. out. That's fucked. Yeah, that's towed no. out. No, you said you <laughs> eyeballed this. I what? did. I, dude, I that size seized. I couldn't go any more in on the inner. Well, what are you gonna do? Maybe do a line shot. What? Yeah, right. What are you talking about? It's we have to load loaded. it. We have to load the car in an hour. Oh, nice. You're dry, toe plating it. You're gonna when have we get to there. Toe yeah. Figure it out. Maybe just do it right now. Oh, I gotta edit the video. Yeah, let's get the video going. Let's get that in render right. mode and then yeah. come back, toe plate it, do all that. Yeah. I have to do an oil change on the Z. I just checked the oil and that shit is black. That's dude. not good. Yeah, we don't want to pop another fucking motor. Yeah, yeah no, definitely yeah, don't. Not on that pop. thing. No, this and the Jenny have been like pretty yeah, good. They have you know? to stay good. They too. gotta stay good. Yeah. If they don't stay good, sell them the life. Oh, jeez. It's just crazy how fucking Matt was like, dude, it, the, it, the alignment's gonna be perfect. I didn't move anything. And, and I'm like, it's, it's not though. He's like, no, it's gonna be good. He told me that he eyeballed it. It doesn't look like he eyeballed yeah. it. Defend yourself here. <laughs> dude, I left the nuts where they came off. So it went back to the, a previous alignment within a millimeter. Yeah, but the tie rods and stuff are no longer the same size that were on it. So I, it's not I'm gonna aware. work like that. I don't know how to line a car. I never cleaned to. 
Well, he was very confident yesterday no, when I, I told him it wasn't going to work. It I'm putting it on, is what I said. And hey, the ain't honestly, we got to give it to Matt, though. He's had that angle kit for like six months. The angle kit's on. Yo, he did a full install. So it was yeah. good. That was good. This was a good progression video for Matt, and I'm, Matt, I'm, I'm happy for him. I said before the next drift event, I want to have the angle kit where I'm not driving it. The angle kit's on, we're going to go drive it. And we're going to see how he performs. We know he hates no angle. We'll see how he is with, with angle. Yeah. Totally. And we know that angle kit rips, dude. Yeah. You should not spin out ever again. Oh, yeah. shit. Don't full you hate pressure. when he says yeah. shit like nah, that? Nah, full pressure. Man, like, you're, you're a fucking putz if you're spinning you're out. Yeah. You're a FD. For yeah. sure. <laughs> For sure. I'm going to stock these of shit, dude. Nice. And with mine, and mine's pretty much the same thing, and I was fucking pissed. AJ was, in, was pissed. I was in the past. She's like, God damn it, dude. I'm fucking you. done. I'm like, no, oh, That's because you fine. shouldn't be. I didn't you, know what I was doing. Like, I never spin out. I usually just park it. Yeah. And, like, I was violently spinning. It's, and I'm, like, fucking pissed. It's going to be interesting. I'm probably going to have to wire the fan, like, electric fans onto a switch because there's no way I can just get everything well, to work right now. Well, just wake up. When we go drive there tomorrow, just do it while we're driving, you know? Wire them up on the wedge. Yeah, it's imagine just that you throwing down the highway. Like James Bonding that shit. <laughs> we'll ratchet strap him in yeah. with the belt loop. God dude. damn, no. Like I'm planting a B O M B. Fear factor. Oh jeez, you're gonna have to bleep one of those letters at least. Yeah. Fear factor. All right, boys. Well, I'm sorry that we're kind of wrapping this up all willy nilly, but um, Matt, he's got to finish his car and stuff. Yeah. And um, we want to get this video out tonight for you guys because we really try to do it every other day. But look at this one over. We got Marcus Parks in the house, dude. He um, just came to visit his family here in Connecticut for a couple days. He wanted to stop by, shoot the shit for a little bit. What you got? Oh. What about oh, flat bar? Yes. Flat bar for the outro, dude. Flat bar for oh, the outro. Oh shit, the peer pressure's real. <laughs> oh, oh my god, dude. Yeah. This no, is I'm getting a little it. wild. <laughs> no, fake this is off. getting a little fake wild. Off of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what, what's, what you got, dude? Let me see. <laughs> These bars aren't even that big either. What do you mean? I have a cult. Yeah, they're pretty big. <laughs> All right, you got it. Yeah, the fucking free the coast, coast is, is bad. bad. Oh. Okay, fine. Oh, oh my god, dude. Oh, Superman yeah, eject though. Jeez. When's the last time you did a bar spin? Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty that's not terrible. I it's thought he was going to say years recent. ago. No, no. I rolled last year. Oh, okay. I bought the bike last year. Let me try to do it just like here. Yeah. It's always the first one. It's like so annoying because you know you can do it, you know? Then you're just like, come on. Okay, that wasn't bad. That wasn't uh -huh. bad. You come in for vengeance, you land in it, and you're done. My knee hurts. Okay. <laughs> well, guys, don't forget to go down to the description below. Check out Samit.net. He is giving away Garrett Turbos, Garrett Wastegate, Garrett Blowoff Valves every single day. One of you that order on Samit.net is going to be lucky every single day for the month of September. So definitely don't sleep on that. Help our boy Sam out and get yourself a fucking turbo. With that being said, we're out of here. Peace out.